Um, I'm here with my good friend and business partner, Alan, and uh, we're here in Johannesburg, and it's all about peak performance here, what I'm interested in, what he's interested in as well. So uh, I would like to ask you, you as well as me, we're uh, just before the climb of Kilimanjaro, you're right. going to do that a uh, little bit earlier That's on your right. team number one. So how is it going for, uh, for you? How is it your, how are your feelings, uh, your expectations, what do you do? How are you right now with this? Thanks, yeah, uh, so for me, uh, my reasons for doing this is to support my wife. So, you know, the climb of Kili is not just about standing on the summit, um, it's about climbing the mountain and being a support for my wife to do the experience too. So that was very much the reason for me to do this is, um, you know, I have climbed mountains before, not this height, um, so it's gonna be a big physical and mental challenge, of course. But I suspect that for me, this is all about making sure that I take second place and support somebody else to the top of their peak. So that for me is kind of my own peak, is being the one that takes second place for a change and kind of leads from behind and supports someone else to get up there. So if she's not going to make it to the top, I'm not going to the top. If she makes it to the top, I'm going to be with her every step of the way, trying to support her and give her what she needs to, to get there so that we grow together as a couple. So that's my personal goal for climbing on Killy and it's you know all been it's her 30th birthday this year and this was a way of celebrating and marking that. So that's one of the reasons why I'm doing Killy and what I'm looking forward to. Wow, wow, okay. So um, as a, in in preparation of this, right, you had to prepare with um, on the on the, on their energy level yep. and also on the mental level. Yeah. As you're saying, not being the number one as you are in your business yes. with your several businesses yes. and very successful businesses, yeah. but uh, being number two to in that yes. way to support yeah. um, uh, how did this this peak peaking peak performances help you in your businesses because you're very successful mm. what, what, what would you say is your number one rule out of those uh, many experiences in the last uh, couple of years that you peaked so many many mountains in your businesses yeah I think for me it is all about uh, just taking action. Uh, it sounds really, you know, like almost too simple a point to put across, but ultimately, at the end of the day, you know, as our mentor Blair Singer will say, sales equals income. And, and business is, is really just, uh, you know, a, a reflection of what's going on in yourself. So, you know, you need to be willing to take action, roll your sleeves up and get the stuff done. And sometimes it's just a case of picking up the phone and winning that business. Once you've won the business, most people would agree that if you've got it, you feel an urge or a desire to deliver it, partly out of fear of letting someone down and worry about what they might think about you. That's kind of like a, you know, away from motivation. But also for those of us that have got a towards motivation to give a good service, to uh, give great value, and also to be in exchange and have the reward that comes along with that. And I'm not just talking about the personal reward, the satisfaction and the pride. It might be that for someone like me, I think, well, the reward of doing this particular bit of business is that I get to spend and enjoy spending that money on something I love doing, whether it be, you know, racing a motor car or climbing up a mountain or, you know, whether it be traveling around the world like we have been for the last you know, year and a half. So all of these are things that I do because I love doing it and that gives me the motivation to um, have that towards motivation to take action. But also the away from motivation kicks in when, you know, you pick up the phone, you offer a service and now you've got to deliver. And I don't want to let them down. I don't want to have a bad reputation. And so that's a really good way of spurring the both sides of the coin of human motivation of away from and towards motivation to drive you to take action. So that's my summary of that. Oh, thank you so yeah. much. And what you're addressing also is say, dealing with your little voices inside. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah. Yeah. For, for someone who is uh, striving to reach his or her new peak, what would you give him or her an advice, one, two, three tips to to reach their peak performance? Yeah, no, it's a really good question. I think in order to reach your peak performance, you need to have uh, a routine and a lifestyle that supports that. Because, you know, an athlete who wins a gold medal isn't just like, okay, on the day of the performance, I need to have my favorite music, the good food, the good water. No, for months building up to that, they've built a habit, they've built a lifestyle around this 
this uh, training mentality so that really the winning of the gold medal happens on the practice field. Of course, they've got to deliver on the day. You can't take that away from them. And they've got to not, you know, manage their nerves and all of that. But ultimately, probably 95% of the work has been done in advance of that gold medal winning moment. And it's the same in business. So if I had to give uh, advice on how to reach your peak, it would be about creating a daily routine, a habit that supports that. So yes, you need to eat healthily to get your right energies up. Yes, you need to drink plenty of water on a physical level. Yes, you need to plan your day and prioritize things. Yes, you need to take action. You know, but all of these things can be built into a routine and a habit. And even one step further than that, I would say you need to change your identity to realize that you're the kind of person who takes that kind of action on a daily basis so that your identity is all about that. You know, um, and that is when really the powerful change comes. And you know, that's something that we work on, both of us, in our coaching business. And we help clients to really change their identity, beginning with creating habits, that's the first step. And then changing identity is the second step, where we work with them in our 12-month program to really help them become the kind of person who can't help but succeed. Because every week, every month, they are doing these steps, taking these actions and retraining their mind. And that's really one of the keys to success that I want to share with you. It's all about looking at areas of your mind that need retraining and also polishing the areas of your mind that are already very good that you can expand upon. One of the best ways I've found that, to do that is by working with somebody else outside of myself. So uh, that's when I've reached my peak is when I've had somebody outside of me, you know, a coach, for example, uh, a business partner, challenging me, encouraging me, cheering me on, but also also calling me out when I'm not doing what I said I'm going to do and ultimately holding me accountable and we believe in that very firmly that's why both Michelle and I invest a lot of money in ourselves every month in our own coaching and we walk talk you know we say the coach without a coach isn't the coach and that's uh, you know one of the things that we both believe in uh, and all of us at YSB believe in which is why one of my pieces of advice is to get somebody to help you. You know, a coach or a mentor doesn't need to be one of us two, but it could be. Um, but it, anybody that you believe will help hold you accountable to doing what you said you want to do. And someone who will say, oh, you want to achieve that success? What have you done about it last week? What did you do about it yesterday? What are you going to do about it today? And that, I think, has been one of the most powerful ways to achieve your peak success on a regular basis. And ultimately, that's all success is about. It's not just about peaking here and there and having a good deal here and making that work there. It's about building that into a system so that you can do it on a routine basis. Um, does that make sense to you? Definitely, Michelle? definitely. Yeah. I can only add to that. It's a step-by-step -step process. Yeah. And uh, we overestimate what we can do in a year, but we underestimate what we can reach in a short yes. short amount of time. Yes. And I really uh, know this now in preparing for Kili, mm -hmm. that my body changed yeah. since I I did the daily routine. Yes. Yes. And not on and I, so therefore I had the peak performance performances on a daily basis yeah. already. So it's not so much about reaching the peak it will be of course because I want to yeah. and you want to as well yeah. and safely come back yeah um, but the little peak performances on a daily basis so I thank you so much Alan for spending the time with us Pleasure. and uh, sharing your wisdom and your experience experiences and I wish you a wonderful day and a, a, and a peak performance day make it uh, make it that it's a peak on a daily basis, that you reach the peak on a daily basis. I wish you a wonderful time. Bye-bye. Take care.